First of all, I gotta give a huge shout out to my friends from Synology. This is something that's really, really cool. I've got an opportunity to be able to test out some gear. So we're gonna see exactly as they say in the movies. Thank you, Brad Pitt. Oh, what's in the box? Well, you know, there's some pretty cool stuff in the box. So let's actually bust it open. Oh, look at that. There we go, kids. The one and only Adidas. 1621. Oh yeah. So we got the DS1621 Plus, and this is definitely one step further than what I'm used to in the past here. Uh, this is definitely more than your average home NAS. In fact, it is scalable NAS to business and IT enthusiasts. So we're gonna go a little bit further than we would in just a kind of a two disc station. They actually have a lot of great offerings. Uh, so this is a chance to see what happens when we move up the ladder. So you can see we're definitely in uh, a good amount of storage options space-wise in here. And there we go, Synology Black. And we got the usual goodness, we've got the dual fans, we've got some USB options, we got lots of Ethernet, uh, external disconnectors, so we're in for a good time. There it is. Ooh. We've got 400 gig solid state, 400 gig, oh there you go, dual 400 gig SSDs. And these are the the enterprise solid state, so it's not your average stuff. You got some classic spinning metal, as they call it. Two, three. And the most important thing that you can ever have with any computer equipment beyond being a really cool set of hardware they're a great actual team to work with so with that let's see what's in the box we got some goodies here uh, we're definitely okay so actually it came with ethernet cables holy heck it actually came with its own Ethernet cables, which is a miracle. Keys, little tiny screws, power cable. Definitely built for, as they say, consistent performance. And obviously, you're going to be pretty guaranteed that you're going to get compatibility with Synology Kit when you're buying Synology. SSD. Ah. Now, I don't want to be that guy who just says, I remember when hard drives used to be a lot bigger. But seriously, that's 400 gigabyte. How awesome is that? So here's the fun part. I thought to myself, it's got to be pretty easy I didn't even bother pulling out the instructions. In fact, everything's been pretty obvious so far. You can see, of course, that we've got disk drives that are going to go in the front. Nifty days, right? It literally can't get much more plug and play than that. We busted open the memory slot and saw there's already memory loaded. Loaded the Ethernet card, so I did actually have to take the chassis off. But what was funny is I wasn't actually quite sure where the uh, NVMe is going to go, these M2 slots. In the back, there's a nifty trick. And check it out. So if we bust open, what you have is in fact, inside here, pull out all these trays, and there we go. 
kindly hiding inside there is the slots for your M2s. Gently load and pop one. Number two. And then reload your hard drives. I'm a fan of loading the blanks, of course, just to make sure that you don't get dust flying around in there. And sometimes we even have sensors to make sure that it won't run without it. Put the rest of our chassis back on with total trust. That we did everything right. What I love about this is that we were actually able to see what it looks like as we spin it up online. We were able to get a sense of how easy it is to put one of these things together. Plug it in. I'm going to get into the configuration app. It really is pretty plug and play. So big shout out again to the folks at Synology. This is Eric from the Disco Posse podcast. You've been watching the unboxing of the one and the only Synology DS1621 Plus. Check it out. I hope you like it. If you do like more like this, you want to see more unboxing, you want to see more of the stuff that I'm using in my own lab, in my own gear, in my own studio, then make sure you do follow the channel here on YouTube. Uh, and of course, go to discopossepodcast.com. Or you can follow me, I'm at Disco Posse on the Twitters. I'll see y'all soon.